Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect within the IBM Maximo development group. And today's video recording is how to set security access to your Maximo 7608 Plus work centers. So Maximo work centers were introduced back in 7605 in 2016. Since that time, we've used the continuous delivery model and added additional new features and functionality to both the work centers and the technical platform. And a Maximo work center is a responsive user interface with a very role-focused application that lets you work with these components, whether you're using a desktop, a tablet, or a phone. The other key component about a Maximo Work Center is that it utilizes a new technology, Google Polymer technology. And because of that Google Polymer technology, the way that we utilize our Maximo Work Centers and set up the security access is very different than Maximo Classic today. So to recap that and the Maximo URLs, when you access your Maximo Classic environment, you have a Maximo server, and when your user physically signs into that Maximo server, they're essentially brought through the user framework or the UI framework to each of the individual Mabos that enable the functionality or components within the various applications. But with Maximo Work Centers or Maximo X, we access Maximo very differently. You can see we have a different URL, but also behind the scenes, the user no longer goes through the UI framework. They actually go, to, go through the REST API. And the REST API is built on the concepts of object structures, which are preformed Maximo objects. And because of this, the way we set security, again, is going to be very different than Maximo Classic because essentially we have to give our user access to the individual object structures. And if you were around in some of the earlier 7605 and 7606 fix packs, you realize that it was a very tedious process to go through each Maximo work center and grant individual read, update, or view access to the various object structures used for the Maximo work centers. Well, our development team did a fabulous job in 7608, and they created the concept of a template. And think of a template as a parent, and underneath the parent is all the child objects. So now in 7608, when you're granting access to a work center, whether it's a business analyst, a supervisor, a technician, or an inspector, you're essentially going to grant access to the template which behind the scenes creates access to each one of the object structures. So what happens if you don't do this? Well, if you go to access a work center and you find that portion of the content is blank or doesn't display, well, then you want, want to go back and check your template access or the specific object security access to make sure that user has the read or insert or delete rights, et cetera, set properly. So let's bring this all together and let me show you exactly how this is done. First, I've signed into my Maximo Classic because we still set security in the Maximo Classic environment. And I'm going to go to my security group application. And my premise here is I'm going to set up a new security group that will give access to one of the new Maximo work centers. So I'm going to do the same thing I would in Classic Maximo and I start by creating a new work center. And I'm going to call this Maximo X Biz Analyst. So what I'm going to call this, this is my Business Analyst Work Center. And I just go ahead and save it. As an option, you have the ability to set a default application. I want to do that. So let me see if I can find her here. Here's my Business Analyst. And that means when she signs into her Work Center, this will be her default. This is what she will see. So that's super. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Again, following standard features, I'm going to come here and give her quick access to a particular site. Let's give her access to Bedford so when she signs in, she'll be able to see something. And now on the Applications tab, this is where you're going to start to see the differences between the work centers and our traditional Maximo applications. If I come down here to the Center application section, Click on Filter, and notice this field Application Type. An application is what you're going to see in Core or Classic Maximo. 
If I come over here and I filter on work center, now I'm going to start to see some new work centers. These are the additional work centers that are available. The other component is a tool or a task. And our tool or a task, almost subcomponents of a work center. A great example is here, data sets. The business analyst work center has the ability to view a data set, but if someone wants the additional functionality to create a new data set, then they would need to be given access to this individual tool or task. But let me go back here and let's find our business analyst work center and let's give her access to that. So I, <clears throat> excuse me, save access or grant access, excuse me. So I've done that. But now I've got to go one step further. Remember the concept of the template? Well, I need to bring up that template and I need to apply that to my particular business analyst. And I want to come here, select apply template. You want to read the message carefully. I'm just going to go ahead and select OK. And now that's already saved by default. So what I've done again is I've set up a work center for my business analyst, and then I've applied the template which contains the individual object structures. So let's go over to the object structure tab and check that out. I'm going to see a number of object structures here. Again, let's filter. Remember that KPI one? Let's make sure that she does have read access. That was correct, so that means my template was applied properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I also want to look at my user one. And I want to make sure that she has both read and save access, so I'm just going to quick click on, select those values. That's again going to enable her to sign on. And I think that's pretty good. Oh, what else do we have to do? I could come in here and set my storeroom, my data restrictions, etc. But <laughs> I've got to add a user. Crazy, I almost forgot that part. So let's select a value. Let's see if we can find our user, Abby. We'll add her and we'll go ahead and save. So now I'm going to sign out of Classic Maximo and I'm going to switch over to my new environment, which is my Maximo X. And remember that has a different URL and I'm going to sign into Abby and let's make sure that she can go ahead and see everything. And let me bring this down a little bit so you can see better. And now I have my new work center available and Abby can see each one of the components. But let me quickly sign out and come back over here to Maximo Classic. And hopefully I can do this fairly quickly. Uh, Wilson, how come I can't remember Wilson's password? And I want to go back and I want to take off that KPI object structure access. So you can see I'm going to go to my work center. And let's go over here to security groups. And let's find that one that we just set up business object structures. So let's filter. Let's find that KPI one and see if I can show you how this works. So again, my read access to KPI was enabled through my template. See if I can take that off and save it. And now let me sign out. Let me go back over here to Abby. And now what we should see if I've done this correctly is that my KPIs across the top are going to show blank. So it worked perfectly because again, I don't have access to that individual KPI object structure. My component within here is blank, but yet if I did have read access, then she would have seen the values that I showed you before. So that's a really important troubleshooting note. If again, you're signing into a work center and you found a component or something is blank, double check your report. Or I always say report object structures, excuse me, double check your object structures. Make sure the security is set properly so our user can see that information. And again, if I can do this really quickly for you. Oh, my goodness, Pam Wilson. Um, Wilson, I would just uh, go back to security groups. Start Center. Security groups is because I don't want to leave it with an ugly. Um, don't want to leave that there ugly. Filter, KPI. We want to make sure that it it's all looking good before we leave this recording here. Save that. Sign out. 
Come back here. Abby. Abby. And now we have KPI values. Yay, so that works. Okay, so again, that's how you set up a work center. Make sure you just follow that process, utilize the templates, grant the security access, and then all your individual components should, supply, should display. So with that, I'd like to thank you so much for your time.